All right, so now that we've done a Coinbase account, let's create a GDAX account. So I'm going to go up here and type in gdax.com and there's GDAX. So you're going to, instead of create account, you're going to sign in. And it knows that you're new to GDAX, so it wants you to accept their terms. And then click OK. And now you're going to select that you're an individual. And then you're going to go through and fill in this form. So I'm going to do that real quick. And then hit next. All right, so now what you're going to do is you need to take a picture of your driver's license. So I'm just going to hit driver's license, and here's the, you can either upload it or right here you can take a photo with your webcam. In fact, let's do that just so that I can show you. If you upload it, you just click it and you can browse on your computer. But right now, I can just take a photo right here. Let's see, where's my webcam? Right, so I can take a picture like that. And then we'll say it looks good. Then we'll do the back. Looks good. And then it wants a picture of me. So what you're gonna do is put your head right in the center. Make sure the lighting's good so it can see you and you take a picture and then you say it looks good and then what it will do is it will process it depending on what their servers are doing this could take five minutes could take one minute uh, it might not work and if that's the case it'll say re it'll stop calculate it'll stop counting and it'll say retry and then if that happens you're just going to do the same thing again you upload a picture or your id pictures and then you take a picture of yourself for me, when I did it, it took probably 20 times before it worked for me because I did it when everyone was trying to do it and everyone was overwhelming the system. Uh, there, so you see your account is complete. So it verified me on the first try. I helped my father do it, it took two times. I had another friend do it the first try. So if it doesn't work the first time, just keep trying. If you try a lot of times and it's just not working for you, you can hit contact support and you can write them an email and explain your problem and then they'll write you back. All right, so now we're good here. We can start trading or we can add another bank account. So if you already added an account to Coinbase, you already have an account in GDAX. They're linked, so you can use the same accounts. If you don't have an account, you can take the opportunity to link a bank account right now. So I'm gonna show you something right now because before when we linked a bank account, you may have noticed if your bank was a small bank, um, like an obscure bank that isn't a big national bank and it wasn't on the list when you searched, there was no way to add your bank account, which is really frustrating. So the cool thing about GDAX is you can add an obscure bank account. So if like for me, I use a small credit union in my hometown. So I had to, I had to link that account through GDAX. So here's your opportunity to do that. Go ahead and click add account. And if you scroll to the very bottom, it's not easy to find, it's a long list, but there's add a different bank account. So you're gonna click add a different bank account. And now is your opportunity to, uh, mine's gonna be a checking account. And what you do is you go get a check for that bank that you wanna link. So if you're a small time credit union, go get your checks that you write for that account. And you're, all, you're just gonna put in your routing number and then your account number and then your full name. So you can find that on the check right here. There's a little picture that explains it to you. The first number is your routing number, it's separated by a colon, and then there's your account number. So if you put those in and your full name and hit next, um, it'll tell you that it's going to make a withdrawal or a deposit into your bank account. It's similar to adding a credit card. You just need to go log into your bank account and verify those two amounts. You look what they are, you come back here and you enter in the two amounts. Again, 
depending on your bank or your credit union, if they post those deposits or withdrawals right away, you can do this today. If they take a couple days for them to clear before they'll post them, then you're gonna to have to wait three to three days or five days or whatever it is before you can come back in and verify. So I'm not gonna do that right now because I already have a GDAX account with all my banks uh, hooked up. And we're just gonna to go to start trading. Okay, so there's your GDAX account. 